lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to of considerable it's been bumper to bumper the tra their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture well now they can't wait for it to begin and begin it will any second now so what a stage going for goal superb goal what a start and what a contribution from the main man i had a feeling he might do something given his reputation but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Maguire. Chilwell. That's the throw. Oh, great run, magical! No, he couldn't get the direction he needed. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. A forward pass. Immobile tries running with the ball at his feet. Lorenzo Insigne. Chiesa. Jorginho. Over to the left. Immobile. Goes for goal! He has done it! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Things starting to look very comfortable. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move. Has a pop! It's, it's come back out! Goal! Donnarumma reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Well, look, regardless of whether the keeper could have done better or not, Peter, that was all down to the excellent movement in getting into the right position to apply the final touch. England get themselves back into contention. I think they can sense a comeback here, and so can this crowd. It's all systems go now. Marco Verratti. And the through ball is intercepted. Rice. Chiesa. Midway through the first period, and it's looking quite a game here. 
And it's Insigne. And here's Immobile. Out to the right. Loses his balance and loses the ball. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Now it's Sterling. Barkley. England couldn't do a whole lot with it there. They could do with more sharpness in their passing. Florenzi gets into some space. Oh, good interception. Rice. Out to the left it goes. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right, the delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Sancho goes up and over. Florenzi. Chiesa. Fires from distance. Shade too heavy, keeper can pick that up. And the first half is done. So a really good half of football, three goals and just one separating them. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. Well, we've had plenty to go at in that first half, Peter, and it's a, a fragile lead that could quite easily change hands in, in the second. Uh, if you like your football unpredictable, I think you're at the right match. Italy head into the half-time break with a narrow advantage. It is 2-1. Already up and running for the second half. Changes made by neither side, from what we understand. Maguire drives it forward. Now it's Sterling. Can't get the better of his opposite number. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Hoists it forward. Immobile spreads it towards the left. Gets away from his opponent. Maguire is there to heave it away. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Chiesa. Oh, well played. He needed to get that right. Chiesa unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. And it's Verratti. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Gomez. He spotted the run and played him through. Has a goal! Rice gets good distance on it. He's come loose. And that's been one straight back. Ferretti. Massive leap! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Oh, they've seen lots of the ball. Time to go for it a bit, a bit of creativity and adventure. Florenzi. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, and having notched the goal already, Peter, he's not going to be allowed to run off the shoulder as, as much as he'll want. England have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution.
Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Pickford gets it upfield. Rice. Jorginho gets it back. Whistle's gone, that's uh, foul. Clears it out of harm's way. Immobile battles to win it back. Italy need to hold on for a few more moments. Kane gets on the end of it. And it's played forward. Just brushed off the ball there. Keeper sends it forward. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Rice, and that is that. Italy have held on, a knife-edge game, a single goal margin, but they have won it. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Well, if ever there was a good tone-setter for a football match, that was it. First minutes, first shot, first goal, and it set them up.